Peace, love, and balance, everybody. Peace, love, and balance, y'all. It's your girl, Isha, goddess of wisdom, also known as goddess on the rise, the copper queen, the power hoodie queen, breaking this sacred energy change, 222, y'all. And y'all know I am the Tennessee witch, y'all. I'm the Tennessee witch. So look, y'all, tonight I am actually sipping some tea. I just got this cup. Look at this. It actually looks like it says the moon. It, it, it looks like it says the more, but it says the moon, y'all. It says the moon. I bought this cup for like on on one of those holiday sales, y'all. So yeah, I'm sipping some tea. I done had me a spiritual bath tonight. I just came back from a spiritual bath. I did a lot of spiritual work today, y'all. And y'all, this is a last quarter moon reading in Virgo, okay? So the moon is in the sign of Virgo tonight. All right, if you do not know the Copper Queen sun sign is a virgo so i've been channeling all day i didn't know what was going on i was like what is going on why am i channeling this much and yes the uh, moon is in my sign tonight okay so this is the time to let stuff go so right now if you have any virgo placements in your chart you definitely probably been going through the same thing overthinking today thinking about a lot of stuff like People like ha having endings with people to just randomly just breaking up with somebody. And just like, you know what? I'm over it or walking out on jobs, stuff like that been happening today. Stuff just really came to the surface. And if you really don't want to take this energy into because we're about to come into a new moon. It's in between the last quarter moon is the moon in between the new moon and the full moon. So we're like halfway at the halfway point. All right. In the fate in the moon phases. OK, so it's really it's time to time to drop some stuff off again before we go into the new moon. All right, stuff that you don't want to take with you anyway. So y'all know how I do it. I got my stones and I'm going to pull four stones. I haven't done one of these in a while since we got back into it. We're going to pull four stones from my bag and I will give the numerology once I add all the numbers up as well as the overall, in, you know, with the overall energy and uh, put all that on the video. And y'all know if you follow me on TikTok, I have it posted on there. Okay, so look, let me ring my bell and get us in tune with spirit. Earth, air. Fire, water, spirits, the universe, most high, high, seven spirit guides, the balance light, ancestors known and unknown. Please come into the space and provide us a divine moon message for the collective Hotep in Islam. Let me get some of that tea. Come on. <laughs> I got it at this tea thing that was at the Simply, Simply Magical with the magic trap. It was super nice. So I was I met a person that sold tea like the tea a king king of teas or something like that. That was super dope. It was yesterday. I'm still I still got tea from that event that I'm drinking. So let's go, y'all. Pulling what we about to pull tonight. I feel great, y'all. Hope y'all feeling great. All right, the first thing we pull is the full moon. Oh my god! <laughs> and what did I just say, y'all? We're we're in the last quarter moon. Which is in between the new moon and the full moon. When we just left a full moon, okay? That's another thing. We literally are a week away from the last full moon. It was last Monday, I believe. So I do feel like maybe some energy is going to still be coming off of that Gemini full moon. Or definitely a, the message of, you know, a future message in the full moon. So trying to give you a super heads up. That's why you put a pay attention to the last quarter. So, so the full moon, this one is wishes fulfilled. Harvest benefits, prosperity, success, celebration, happiness, abound, unveiling what's hidden. Okay, y'all, this is a time of celebration for some of you all. So some of you all, I, this is the energy coming out. The last full moon we just had in Gemini. Some of y'all about to start receiving y'all bliss from now up into the next full moon. It's about to just keep coming. Some of y'all, this bliss is going to start in the next full moon okay but after the energy i'm channeling this moon we just came out of you actually had wishes fulfilled like things were granted for you and now it's about to start coming in like the jack part and it's just time okay now you about to see so be grateful for every little thing okay i don't care what it is if it's something that you want it don't matter the quantity of it be grateful if, if something you manifested came into fruition be grateful so more can come okay but this is a time of celebration that was the number one for my number people. That was the number one. So second stone coming in. This is fire. I knew it was going to be fire. Second stone coming in is, oh my God, look, five, the new moon. Some of y'all could be seeing the number five or butterflies or five, 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 or just five, five, five. But some of y'all been seeing all these fives a lot and seeing symbolism of fives, which is butterfly. Anything that has anything to do with change, you've been seeing. Okay. Like seeing snakes even. 
because snakes and symbolism will change they shed and they become new and this is the new moon y'all this is the moon moonstone so look you know the new moon is coming up the new moon is coming up and something come the new moon is about to happen too somebody's about to get in a new beginning i do feel the energy of love like a relationship i do right now as i'm saying this i'm just going to ahead and say it i feel like somebody about to get in a new relationship it's, you know with somebody and it's about to be a new beginning in love and that sounds like this is going to be the one for you it got time of new beginnings starting a new planning reflecting on thoughts intentions and goals oh <laughs> Okay, this is something else that came out. Somebody just said some new intentions and got real serious, for real. Like, somebody realized they've been asked for the same thing over and over again, and they already asked for that, and they've been getting that, and they want more now. And now you actually believe and trust and know you deserve more, so you actually wasn't scared to put that energy out there, manifest it, whatever whatever you did, whether you pray, whether you uh, uh do witchcraft like myself and manifest it through spiritual practices, and you do cosmos, universal work. Somebody said, look, or a vision board too, somebody, somebody said, look, it's time for me to get what I want, I deserve more, and I'm not getting anywhere at this level, and I'm ready to go to another level. Now, this is the energy challenge. This new level you about to go to comes to more responsibilities. Hold up. Let's ring the bell. More money, more problems. Okay? So this new level of income, of success and fortune you're about to receive is going to give you more responsibility as well. Okay? So you need to ask for some type of financial discipline and financial education as well. Okay? And resp financial responsibility. So you can prioritize responsibilities and make the divine decisions that keep this money flowing and keep it going. Okay? Like water. Keep this money flowing and keep it going. Because the energy I'm channeling, somebody about to get some money. And if you don't know what to do with it, it's, it's, you're going to keep on wasting these times. And they're going to get farther and farther in between until you just, everything fall down. So you got to start making these great decisions for the long run. You got to stop making these temporary decisions that's helping you temporarily. You need to start making the long-term uh, decisions. It may take a lot of money up front, but at least you had the money. And at least it's going to protect you in the long run instead of the short run. Let's go. Dang, that message came out tough. You you hear me? I couldn't even slow down. Whoever message that was for, congratulations. But listen to that. That was some wisdom right there. Gracious. I was out of breath. Okay, the number three. So we got one, five, and three on the board. One, five, and three. And this is like some kind of half moon itself, as y'all can see. The number three. So family sup for some of y'all. Holy Trinity. It's kind of dark. Here it is. Okay. Family for some of y'all. Holy Trinity energy. So, uh, let's see. This is the halfway moon. The first quarter. And we're in the last quarter right now. So, this is the first quarter moon. So, this is the first quarter moon. It says, time to take action, face obstacles. Do not waver. Motivation. Push ahead and continue forward. Okay? So, this is a challenge you're about to get. You're about to get a wave of money. But what, what did I just say? More money, more problems. So, you're still going to have... Uh, uh, some obstacles come through as you're making as you're making big, big, bigger boss moves. That's the energy come out. So get out of the thought that everything is going to be perfect. Look, I, I got this shirt that says it's okay not to be perfect. It's a dress actually, but get so somebody needs to get out of the mindset that everything has to be perfect and every time something goes wrong, it's a direct reflection on you and it's not. Stuff just happens sometimes. Stuff plans fail, goals you know fail, and you can try again or try something else again i don't mean you have to give up overall but somebody needs to stop looking at any type of failures or something that didn't work out exactly the way they wanted to as a failure in general this is life okay you can always keep going or try something else okay but don't give up that's why i said keep the motivation and push ahead stay motivated no matter what don't get all bent out of shape and keep it keep it going okay stay motivated you can't give up every time Say you uh ordered something and it didn't come in time for something that, uh, an event you needed for, and you you bent out of shape. Well, at least you got it. At least you ain't somebody you know. At least you got it. And at least you didn't waste your money. And at least it was in good shape and all that. And maybe it was because it wasn't really meant to be in that time. You were supposed to get it in divine time. You get things in divine time. So it's probably a reason why the delivery was late. Stuff like that. Let's ring the bell, okay? That was fire, y'all. This is a top. This is a five mission. I've been channeling this all day. I went outside and grounded, barefoot on the ground, took a spiritual bath, read. I did some studying and reading, and I was like, okay, it's time to deliver. <laughs> it's time to deliver. Okay, let's go. So the next stone coming in is going to be the number four. Ooh. 
And y'all, the number four is symbolism of stability and security, okay? Stability and security. So somebody, you could be seeing the number four or four, 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 or even the number 20, uh, tw uh, 22, because 22 adds up to four. Somebody could be a life path four or number 22. Take this how it resonates, y'all, but the number four, okay? The number four coming through. So this moon right here is the waxing crescent moon, Okay. So this is set intentions, hopes, and desires, making wishes, communication. Okay, let's ring the bell. It's time to start setting those intentions, y'all. Like, it's time to start really being serious about intentions. Like, even a somebody, you know, vision boards, you got to keep reflecting on them. Have you gotten all that on that last vision board? Now it's time for another vi vision board, okay? Do another one. It's time to upgrade the vision board because that, that already been manifested. Sometimes we get stuck on that one thing and we forget it's time for another one. So do it. Somebody need to do another vision board. Set some new goals and attention. Don't keep setting the same goals. Set some new goals that's going to help you for longevity. Somebody keep making short term moves. And I'm beyond the engine. I'm trying to. Somebody's actually scared to make the long term move to a degree. They're scared of the responsibility is going to come with the long term and permanent goals because they're some kind of perfectionist and they're like, I don't want to screw nothing up and build all this and lose it all. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I can relate to something like that, okay? You're scared to take the risk because what if you risk it all and then you lose it, all right? Don't think like that. Say you risk it all and you want it all and some more. If you think like that, it will be. So get out of that. Time to be more positive. Let's ring the bell. Hold on. Time to be more positive. Do not think like that. That is your lower self, insecurity, fear, trauma that you need to wish away, okay? Matter of fact, since it's, you pulled the new moon, when you need to set intentions to release fears and doubts and anxiety and, and uh, insecurities permanently away. Fears, blockages, they need to be removed. That needs to be completely removed because it is holding you back, y'all. It is definitely holding you back from making moves that is going to benefit you. Peace and love, dear. It's going to benefit you in the long run. It's time to make the move. It's time to be a grown-up now. <laughs> oh my god so thank y'all so much if you like this content please like share and subscribe to me on youtube at sacred energy exchange 222 for those of you that know me i am the copper queen i will be uploading this to my youtube for my youtubers and hold on let me add these up hold on so this was the one five so yep six nine thirteen y'all <laughs> The number 13, which adds up to four, the number four. So the energy is four tonight for my numbers, for my number of people that want to draw some numbers or manifest. And if you want to know all the numbers, it was one, five, three, and the number four. And all that added up to four, okay? So definitely do, uh, ta or honestly, figure out what that number, that, in that means that's the energy for tonight, though, four. So that means stability and security. It need to be focused on your money, okay? It's time to focus on your long-term girls that's associated with your bag, okay? Like some, the energy I'm trying to is something big coming that you need to be ready for, and they're giving you the heads up. So make sure your bag. And for those of y'all, get your silver and your gold assets. You know, thing, it's not just cash. There's money anymore. It's assets, okay? It's time to get on board, okay? Thank y'all so much for tuning in, y'all. Also, if y'all want to follow me on TikTok, it is Goddess on the Rise. And if you want to follow me on Facebook is Guys on the Rise, and I'm also on Instagram as the Copper Queen and the Father Hoodie Queen, and I put all that in information at the end of these videos. If you would like to book a reading with me, that is Sacred Energy Exchange 222 at gmail.com, okay? Sacred Energy Exchange 222 at gmail.com. If you want to get a moon reading, I can do moon readings. I do moon readings. I do uh, uh, ruin stone readings. I do astrology reading with astrology dice, and I do numerology readings, okay? And ancestor readings, y'all, because y'all know we in the... We, we about to approach the winter solstice. Can y'all believe it? Autumn about to be over, baby. When winter solstice get here, it's about to get thick. It's about to get so thick, all right? So come on, the winter solstice is coming. So thank you all. By the way, I still have a 50% off sale going on right now with all my readings, okay? I'm doing, a, it was a whole sale during autumn, and all my readings are half off, and that's a steal. And it come to winter solstice, that's it. that deal is going to be over with. <laughs> That deal is going to be over with because that's when se seasonal affective disorder kicks in big time. Okay, everybody going to the doctor because they sick because of the cold. Everybody stressed and depressed because of the weather and they missing sunlight and and I ain't going to be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so thank y'all once again. I'm going to ring this bell and send this energy back to spirit. Earth.
air, fire, water, spirit. Yeah, until next time, happy moon day. Happy Virgo moon in the last quarter moon. Peace, love, and balance. Copper Queen checking out.